Hey everybody, Arn Hoy here and I'm going to show you how to use Studio Mode in OBS. I figure a lot of people are actually a little scared about this, but it's actually really awesome. So uh, let's get into it. I've got a scene here and let's add sources like you would normally to create, you know, scenes for streaming. Um, we'll pick an image file and it's going to take me a billion years to find my images folder. Here we go. Uh, let's start with this one and blah, 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 boom, great. All right, so let's pretend that's a scene full of fun stuff and we'll create a new scene and we'll do the same thing. This is your second scene, your whatever. Uh, let's get a different thing here for illustration purposes. All right, so we now got a couple scenes and here's what we want to do. Studio mode is great because you can edit uh, one scene while another scene is still live in your show and people won't see the changes. All right, so let's click studio mode in OBS and now you'll get this side-by-side -side view. The right side is live and the left side is the scene that you wanna edit. So let's go say that we wanna edit something in this scene uh, while this mountain scene is still live. Uh, let's go in. Your sources will be the sources that are on the scene that you're editing on the left. And let's reposition it. Let's say I wanted to see the beach a little bit more. And then when you transition to that other scene, your, uh, your change will be applied. Now, the other fun thing is that you can edit a scene that is live without people seeing you edit in the live scene. So let's go to the Hawaiian scene and let's say, you know what, uh, I'm, I, I wanna see more of the sky again. I'm gonna make that change. Notice that the live scene has not changed. So everyone in your stream watching is still seeing the scene on the right. That is the live window. Now, if you wanna make the transition uh, while you are live, which is fine, let's say you feel like it's good to transition those changes, you can just Go ahead and transition those changes. There you go. I'll make an edit again. Let's put it about halfway and then transition to that. That is pretty much the awesome thing about studio mode. You can make changes without the live view seeing it in either the current scene or in other scenes. And then you can push those changes live. The one thing I wanna note is that if I go to a different scene and then I close studio mode, it will stay with the live scene. There are older versions of OBS where it will actually cut to the scene that's showing in studio mode. So in, in this case, it would cut to the mountain scene rather than stay in the beach scene. But with this newer version, it doesn't do that. So awesome sauce. Uh, there you go. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and watch my other uh, streaming tutorials. And we'll see you later.